Well, the enemy was my husband's department. I was a problem. What do we do with her? This little boy is called Philip. His full name is Philip Schleswig Holstein Sonderberg Glücksberg, and he grew up in Germany. He was raised amongst his Nazi in-laws, some of whom later became high-ranking members of the SS. His Nazi relatives then sent him to this school in southern Germany, where he studied for a while under the Nazi curriculum. Philip later recalled that there was much heel-clicking and shouts of Heil Hitler were compulsory. And here's Philip in Darmstadt, in the heart of Germany, in November 1937, attending a family funeral for some of his Nazi in-laws. Marching in front of a Siegheiling crowd, this is Philip, next to Christoph, his SS brother-in-law, and Philip, his Nazi stormtrooper brother-in-law. Imagine if a man with a past like this had somehow ended up marrying into British aristocracy. Well, he did. And as we know, he got first prize. He became the Duke of Edinburgh, also known as Prince Philip, after marrying Princess Elizabeth, the future Queen of England. Philip buried his Nazi past and became a respectable member of British royalty. And his story has continued happily ever after. Apart from a few family troubles that were quickly resolved. In the years before Princess Diana was killed, she told many people that the British establishment was planning to eliminate her. Oh, of course Diana was bumped off. She knew she was going to be bumped off. But she always said she's not going to make old bones. Diana had left a note saying that she thought that somebody was going to kill her and that it would be in a car accident. When a woman left a note saying, FYI, if I'm dead, here's how it's gonna happen, and then it happens exactly like that, I think someone should pay attention. What if this woman's name had been Diana Smith and she'd written in a note which had been subsequently unveiled, my husband Charles Smith wants me to die in a car accident. And subsequently she did. In any other family or in any other country, Surely Charles Smith would have been called to the witness stand at the inquest into his wife's death. When you have the head of the British Security Services calmly announcing we have never killed anybody in the last 50 years, I laughed out loud. What's the point of them then? Now, we've all been to James Bond movies, thanks. We know the security services do a lot of dark stuff. So the idea that we're supposed to believe that in 50 years, the British secret agents have never actually killed anyone. I didn't believe it. And so if you don't believe that, where does that leave the rest of the establishment evidence? Who knows what fate will produce? Who knows what circumstances will provoke? It's weird that at a time when you know the establishment can think of nothing worse than Dodi Fayed, son of Muhammad, marrying and possibly impregnating Diana, that she's conducting a major international offensive against landmines with all the crippling economic problems that would bring for the British establishment again, and the British and government, America. and America. But if you add all these to the mix, then if you were ever going to do something dodgy to Diana, that's the time you would do it. She'd become trouble, as she used to say to me. I'm trouble to them. I won't go away. I won't go quietly. She won't go quietly. That's the problem. I'll fight till the end. Presidents have been killed for mess.